All right, let's talk about side angle side triangle congruence. Um, this is just another one of the rules we're going to use here, learning about uh, the different ways we can prove the two triangles are congruent. Side angle side is obviously just what it says, requires that we have a side that is congruent, and then an angle in between the two sides that is congruent. Let's move up on top here so all my lines show better. There we go. An angle that is congruent here and here, and then another side on the other side of the angle that's also congruent. So it needs to be in that order, but if we know that a side followed by an angle followed by a side is congruent on both triangles, then we can state that both triangles are indeed congruent. We don't need to know anything about that other side over here or about these other two angles over here to know for certain that those two triangles are congruent. Now if we want to kind of look at that from a logical standpoint, let's make a little blank area here. If I were to give you, say, two specific lengths of sides, say a long one and sort of a medium length one here, and ask you to build two triangles out of them, you could build pretty much any number of triangles. I mean, you could you could make one that was you know, sort of straight across with the medium length one and then way down this way with the longer one. And then you'd have another side that was just a little bit shorter than your medium length one maybe over here. Or you could take your medium length one off in this direction and your long one off in this direction and that would make your missing side really long, coming clear down from up here. So you can see that just by knowing two sides, we can't really say anything about a triangle. However, if I took those two sides that I gave you originally, and I didn't just tell you that you could use those lengths, but I also told you that the angle between those two sides was fixed. Let's say it had to be whatever this angle, we'll call it 45 here, it had to be this specific 45 degree angle right here. With that 45 degree angle fixed in place, here, whoops, here, now the number of triangles you can make out of those two lines is drastically reduced. In fact, it's reduced right on down to one. There's only one way we can connect a line that's this specific length and this specific length that are sort of anchored in place at this 45 degree angle. The only way to connect those two is with a line that goes from here to here. There's no other way to do it. You can't connect these two lines with any other any other length of line or any other different angle than the two that appear right here. So once that once you have those two lengths and the angle in between them fixed, the triangle itself becomes fixed. So side angle side triangle congruence is pretty slick. It doesn't take a whole lot of information, but it allows us to show right away that two triangles are the same if the two sides and the angle in between them match. Let's take a look at the example problems and see how this works.